All right, another breakdown. Uh, this is going to be two teams, the B-Team Bulls and Team Polaris. I haven't watched this, so uh, I have seen some highlights, but i um, been excited to kind of kind of check this out. Um, if you haven't yet, click the link in the description uh, where you can join the sweet, sweet Science of Fighting Underground and get access to all the strength and conditioning programs. Uh, and you can also submit your uh, footage to be broken down. So uh, let's uh, go ahead and start. And let me see if... Um, well, yeah, let's just start at the, uh, <clears throat> I'm going to back it up a little bit here. There we go. Looks like it starts pretty quick. So it looks like they're starting with, uh, there's Nikki Rod and Owen. Uh, Owen's a, well, they're both beasts. Um, I do know Owen, uh, I've watched some of his stuff in the past. Uh, obviously judo, good judo, good wrestling, uh, good jiu-jitsu. So there it is. Uh, same with Nicky Rod. Uh, this would be good. I'll be, I'm really interested to see what happens here. <clears throat> Looks like they're just giving kind of the, the rule set here. All right. Yeah, Nicky Rod looks a little bigger. I don't know if it's... Same weight, probably. Uh, Owen's just a little thicker. There's a judo sweep. Let's just check that out real quick. That's such an effortless. So if you look here, I think it was just kind of changing level here. Looking for a shot, possibly. But as soon as they tie back up, right here, you can see the tie up. Got the uh, right hand on the neck there. And he just kind of steps in. And the foot position's really good, it's just a kick. And it looks like he's, uh, you know, maybe like pulling him a little bit to the right, um, and causing a little bit of a stumble. It's very good. It's basic judo. I think uh, it's the same rules as there were before. There has to be some sort of attempt to take down or to attack to actually uh, sit, sit to guard. It was a good arm drag by Nicky Rod. Just went to a quick arm drag to go forward um, to, to, to get on top. And it looks like he's going to get on top here. Maybe get an angle. And Owen did a good job of getting back up, standing back up. <clears throat> so Nicky Rod definitely looks taller. So he's sitting to guard, sitting back up. I think he looks really relaxed here. Some hand fighting, sitting to the ground. Going to a straight body lock and with an overhook. Nicky Rath has a hot overhook. He has this little butterfly here. He's got control of the forearm over here. Uh, I like this, that he went for a sweep and he saw the sweep wasn't gonna happen. He shot his knees back and now he's back into a wrestling position, but he has an overhook with a snap down. That was a beautiful snap down. That one's just good. Just gets back to his feet. Another snap down, back to a headlock, front headlock. Good scramble out. A little shaky, shaky. Out two on the neck. Let's make him carry your weight. A lot of these guys get tired. You know, it's really interesting to watch this stuff because, you know, once uh, once these guys start getting a little winded, that's when you start seeing the mistakes happen or the timing just isn't quite right. So it's always a good good idea to make to hang on the uh, on your opponent, make them carry your weight, not expend too much energy here. But one thing I noticed that uh, Nicky Rod and uh, a lot of these guys do is they they act like they're going to sit to their guard. And then as you come forward, they take a shot. So that's maybe something we should watch out for. No one's not falling for it too much here. And he goes to take his own shot. Nikki sprawls. Okay, I'm trying to get with the posture. He's going to frame out. So Nicky's not conceding to his back here. He's not just playing guard. He's, he's using it as he comes in to establish his connections 
uh, with his certainly with his hand here and and his other arm to post up and to go into wrestling moves here. He's really favoring this uh, kind of uh, getting the person to come in so that he can establish connection and then he can shoot his feet legs back and then start to wrestle and potentially get to a top head a front headlock position. See if we see any more judo here. Hanging on the neck. Seeing to guard again. Thing is, I don't think Nikki Rod plays a lot of guard, ton of guard. Likes to set it up to wrestle. Right there, you see him go up, gets his connection. He starts to go forward again, goes for the pick. Oh, man. <laughs> so it wasn't to get him, get it, let it get away at that time. Or running off, he just said he leaped over to get a hold of the hips, but he lost the hips. He ran off the uh, mat. And this took a lot of energy. Uh oh, what's this going on here? Uh, oh, they're mad. <laughs> okay. Well, let's get a little more interesting. You get a little more heated. Maybe spin. They're going to have to be careful not to get uh, too emotional, spend too much energy. Oh, that was a beautiful, uh, if you saw that, it was very, very quick. It was just a quick, uh, try to go for a quick foot sweep. Um, watch Nikki's uh, legs here when he sits to the to his guard here. Uh, both his feet are going to shoot out and try to get a sweep. Right here, he's going to sit to his guard and watch his feet open. Right here, he's going to try to give a little push, boom. See how he made him do the splits? This is a good, uh, it's a good little sweep just to get him off balance and maybe even get to top. Hand fight to an arm drag. Another foot sweep. It's pretty well. Okay, now he's driving in. Again, Nikki's always see this back leg here. He's always had this this back uh, back leg up, so he's always going to be driving forward. He doesn't. Uh, he's not conceding to this uh, guard play. So he has a good, uh, good base, um, good frame with that top left arm. And he's got a uh, kickstand here so that he can't be really pressured back and he can always climb back forward here. See that? And even though, uh, you know, Owen does have a, does have a single, it doesn't, uh, it's, it's not going to do that good when Nikki's actually driving forward and gets a connection with the head, uh, and is really keeping that leg heavy. So it's making it difficult to keep that single. And as you can see here, you know, uh, <clears throat> Nikki's hips are getting higher than Owen's hips. And then his head is getting a little, should be getting a little bit higher here. And then he's going to do these little picks here. And he's getting those ankle picks and then going to a single. And he's driving over the shoulder, driving him down in this direction. And that'll get him down to the ground. Now there's a body lock. Now that he has the body lock, this is going to be, it should be a rough ride for Owen. Uh, I, I don't know Owen, how good Owen's guard is, but I, I do like what he's doing here. He's wedging his arms in here, trying to get establish some some frames so that he can generate some space. He needs to address, uh, try to left hand. He needs to address that cross face that's coming, which it does. Right, he's, he's trying to go for, try to sit up, but but this is the see the cross face is right here of what he needed to deny. Um, once the cross face happens, this is going to be uh, even more difficult because it's going to keep him flat. If he keeps it, the cross face is going to keep him flat. If he didn't have the cross face and he was denying the cross face with his right or left arm, or both, um, this would uh, allow him some space to actually start to to move or to uh, scramble out. But Nicky Rogers does a good job of of top position control here, making sure he has that cross face. I think they're going to reset them into the uh, middle. <clears throat> that's going to be tough to get out of this body lock with a cross face. You can see here, it's very different when you have this. I use this uh, quite a bit where the arm is actually uh, hugs all the way under to the far side, uh, far side hip. And I keep that cross face. And you can actually lift the person with your cross face and drag them further over in this direction to make this body lock even tighter. Um, I've actually tapped some some lower uh, lower belted people with this position. A higher level, they, they won't tap, but it's a more of a twisting. You're kind of twisting them into a much tighter body lock, and it's extremely uncomfortable. So I can imagine 
with Nicky Rowe. <laughs> he's he's going to complain about the arm position, which I was just saying is a good good arm position. So he's trying to get him to let loose of the hands here, not to because he doesn't want to have the S grip, which is you know valid. I don't I, I don't know. I couldn't see if he had the actual the script. This is always an issue when they reset guys. People they always complain that they, there was a grip, there was not a grip, there was a hand here and a hand there, foot there, foot there. Um, the reality is I don't think you can get it perfect uh, just because you're stopping things in the middle uh, of action, right? There's so this is very difficult to reset. Okay, so yeah, so that's that's fine. I mean, it's fine if he doesn't have his hands gripped. He still if this has a cross face. He still has the body lock. It's not as tight, but you know he's got a good position here. Owen does get this frame in here, so that's good. That's going to give him an opportunity. But still, I mean, the the issue here is this cross face. I, I always tell everybody, I'm like, you even in the training room, you you never allow a cross face. This is kind of a general rule that we all have: is uh, when you're playing this guard and your guard is starting to get past whatever, you deny the cross face. This will allow you to continue to move at a minimum to get to turtle or to create scrambles or to even regain your guard. Um, but once the cross face happens and there's upper body connection, it's just going to keep you flat. It's going to be very difficult. So now you're going to have to try to escape. Okay, so now the hands are locked with a butterfly position. So he has inside position with his left arm here, and he has a cross face on this side. So this is going to be very difficult. And he's posting up here like a tripod to really drive this pressure in. You know, when somebody as big as Nikki, this is tremendous pressure. And Owen here is trying to keep the hips away with the frame here. He needs to be careful not to not to burn himself out in this position. He's not going to produce something from it. <clears throat> and you notice how right here, you see how uh, Nikki like lifts him up. This is uh, I like to do this with uh, especially more advanced guys. I'll get that cross face and I'll lift them over my body lock, and this creates more of a twisting uh, motion, which actually makes it really really tight. Um, so you can't see, but his, his arm got a little bit deeper and his body lock got a little bit tighter and he doesn't need to have this hand clasped together anymore. It's just it's so far to grab uh, through that it can grab the other side of the hip. Um, if I, you know, I was going to have a hard time because he can't really turn right to a running man escape because of the because of Nikki's left arm here with the body lock. He certainly can't go to the left really because, you know, obviously the cross face. So this creates a bit of a dilemma. But now to see the cross face is gone, I was just about to say if he... Nicky Rod is kind of stuck in that position too. It's a great position and, and it's an excellent control position. You can really wear the guy down here. But at some point, if you want to start to go for a submission of some sort um, and to improve your position, you're going to have to move. So we see that. There. So the cross face is gone. And as we can see, as soon as that cross face is gone, it creates an opportunity. There goes the bridge. And now he can move. So this is case in point. If you establish the cross face, you can't move, uh, especially with the body lock. They're stuck. But as soon as you release it, they can move. And see how he got to turtle? Um, he's not out of the woodwork here. I mean, he's, uh, now he's going to be stuck in the uh, front headlock position, which he was stuck in before, but this time it's a little different. It's a little deeper, uh, than he was before because they're actually on the ground. Now, he may scramble to get back up. He, Nicky's really holding onto this position because he has a deep bite with his arms here. And so you can see his arms right there. His hands are clasped and, you know, uh, Owen's doing a really good job of just getting back to his feet. This is where he, he needs to be. He's being very careful because from obviously from head and, head, uh, head and arm positions, you can produce anacondas, darces, uh, guillotines. Uh, all these positions start to, uh, start to manifest from this position. They're going to reset them. Ah. So they're going to reset them to the middle. I really wish there was something like where you didn't have to reset. Like it was just like a, a giant mat, you know, like in the, with the seat. Cause he, so now this is going to be controversy now again. Uh, you know, I really wish there was some sort of, I don't know, like a football field or something. And you just put the guys in the center and they go. It's like, you know, th there'd be a little <laughs> less resets, but I um, guess it's not practical. So he's trying to establish a position of connection with his hands. This is always going to be the issue because Owen's not going to allow him to get that connection to get the arm across. Because if he does, this is going to make it much easier to go to commercial. There we go. So obviously Owen's not gonna, doesn't want him to actually get the his arm crossed over even even just by a little bit because as soon as that arm crosses over with the head and arm, you're gonna start to be able to produce uh, you know all your strangle all your strangles. So um, you know there's going to be a bit of an argument because that little that little inch or half inch really really matters. And of course I think you know Nikki's gonna want to take the position back, and they just went they said go live. So we're here. 
I do like this little interesting Owen's putting his arm behind his back. This is kind of smart because it op keeps him open. It keeps his shoulder open. His, his, uh, his uh, right shoulder here is pulling away from his neck because he keeps his leg, keeps it open with his own leg. It's a good strategy. See if it pays off. But it keeps it open to where you can pull out. And it paid off. It keeps the position open to where he just can't actually get the arm across because your arm is locked onto your own leg. Uh, he wanted, you know, Nicky Rudd wanted that arm that was locked behind the leg to be crossed under so that he can really start to produce uh, some chokes. But, um, yep, he had to let go. And Owen actually got out, so. Going to a sweep, trying to go to wrestling. I mean, it's, it, this has got to be a frustrating for Owen, too, because he wants to pass, but he knows that Nikki's just kind of bringing him in so that he can go into wrestling. Same thing, you know, popping up and getting to the neck. You know, if Owen just kind of just keeps going in like this and just kind of, I wouldn't say nonchalantly kind of sitting into Nikki's guard, but if he does, if he's not, you know, aggressive with the legs and get it really good control of uh, Nikki's hips and his legs, if he's not aggressive there, Nikki's just going to keep wrestling up. Um, one thing I've I've noticed that I repeat also to my students and and I see just doing all these breakdowns is that if the person is not really aggressively going towards your guard and really trying to pass, and you're just kind of in a neutral position or not really trying to pass or you're tired, or whatever they're going to come up, stand up and go forward and get on top. So this really changes, uh, you know, the dynamic of your passing. You can't just kind of sit there, right? Because people are going to start to stand up and wrestle. That was a great shot. And Owen threw him off. That was good. It's hanging on his neck here. These guys are starting. It's got to be exhausting. Oh, yeah, he's bleeding. So trying to shake the neck there. You know, this is a strategy that we see a lot. Uh, we call it, we just call it the shaky shake. I'm sure it's called something else, but where you really shake the guy's neck. You're doing this to to get elicit a response uh, from the guy. You'd like to overcommit too far up or overcommit too far down. If he commits too far down, then obviously you can snap him down. If he gets too far up, then you can actually shoot into the legs. It's a good strategy. And see, again, he just kind of pops down. Pops back up and goes right back through here. So this is a case in point. I just want to rewind this just for one second because if you notice when he sits, when Owen goes to sit back into uh, Nikki's guard, he's not really putting the pressure in to go forward. Not, not right here. So you see how he just kind of sits down. It's kind of like falls to his knees. He never really gets to chant. Boom. He was just neutral there for that split second. He was kind of neutral and then just got blasted. So... Nikki's uh, got a body lock here. Let's see some little, there's a little bit of Z guard there for a second. So Owen's doing a good job here, trying to keep keep uh, his, his frames in a wedge in here. I'd really like to see him address that, that cross face. Because if, if Nikki gets that cross face again, keeps him flat, now he's going to go to mount. This is good. Owen's doing good here. Switches, scrambles up. That was good on both guys. You know, Nikki's doing a good job because um, he, since he's a taller, uh, taller person, he's really hanging on Owen's head, uh, which has uh, got to be exhausting uh, for Owen to really be carrying that weight. So good on Nikki to, to, to you know, to, to continue to do that. Um, and sitting here, look, so right here, even just this right here being neutral, just kind of standing in front of uh, Nikki, he's going to get blasted again if he's not careful. You see this? So Nikki likes to wrestle from these, like, seated positions because he's already, he's down, right? So if the person is not aggressive here, Boom. Good. So again, even though Owen stuffed it, 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 it just shows that, you know, how easy that shot is. Um, I tell guys all the time, you know, if you are, if you're in a seated guard, um, and the person is not driving, really driving hard, driving forward, or you touch, you know, grab their leg and they just pull away really fast. 
this is a time to go forward and, and hold that leg or hold the hips and, and wrestle. Um, even if you don't know how to wrestle, uh, you really don't need to because you've done most of the hard work, which is uh, the entry point and connection, right? You've already done that. And so now that you have that, you just need to get them to the ground. Now, there's a ton of technique, obviously, to do that. And yes, you do need to know how to wrestle, obviously. But um, you, you've kind of done two of the hard, hardest things to do. Okay, they're going to reset. And snap, good snap down. And now you can see now that, uh, you know, it's, you know, it's, it's been, I don't know what, five minutes now, or almost five and a half, five and a half minutes. Um, you can see, you know, uh, guys getting tired. So actually there you go. You can see the guys getting tired and, you know, this is going to start to affect uh, timing. Oh man, that was, that was, uh, that was good. If you, you didn't see that for a second, uh, Owen tried to do a little toss there, but it, um, it didn't work out. It was a bit of a judo toss that it looked like he wants to switch his hips right about or right around here when he starts to go backwards here, right here. Watch, uh, Owen's, uh, legs here. They're going to switch to almost like it looks like he want to do a hip toss or a judo throw right there. You see how he stepped that foot in this foot in right here, going to like a, almost an Uchimata position he has an overhook. But this, uh, his far le leg here, this left leg collapsed, which uh, means he's not going to be able to get that, that toss. Um, he had a good setup, good position, but his left leg here uh, folded. Uh, and now Nikki's going to end up on top. And Nikki quickly stuffed that leg to step over. Man, Nikki's, I'm really impressed with like, Nikki's just constantly attacking and just his gas tank is insane. It's crazy. His technique is just really good. So again, you know, Owen, just notice the differences between Owen playing bottom and Nikki playing bottom. These are two different things. Uh, now, that being said, you know, it was from a takedown, but uh, from here, you know, Nikki would be already, tr already be trying to get up um, or establish to a combat base or to get this, this knee behind them, uh, one of his knees behind him so that he can start to wrestle up. Um, not, you can't do this at this moment, obviously. Owen can't do that, but just... Just the contrast between the two, you can see um, that, you know, uh, Owen's really having to play more defensively here because I haven't seen really a, a guard from Owen yet. Um, there was an easy pass. And, of course, Owen's going to go to turtle because, you know, it's better to be on turtle than to be obviously flat on your back because you can start to wrestle up. And I tell everybody, you know, I mean, obviously – white belts and things like this, you're going to run into the problem of, yeah, don't be flat on your back. You need to get the turtle and they're going to get strangled over and over and over because you're going to get their back taken. But, um, for the, you know, the intermediate to the advanced, uh, uh jujitsu practitioners, you're going to find out that, uh, it's usually better to, um, to be active, which would be in the turtle position instead of being flat on your back. And one of the reasons why is just simply a simple concept here is that you have space between you and the floor right here. Um, where you can start to move and operate, where you can pull guards or you can start to post up and do all these things. Um, or uh, where if you're on your back, you're trying to generate space between you and the, your opponent, which means that you're trying to push them off and move their weight, um, which is uh, much more draining and much harder to do. So with the front headlock again, and he may have a, he may have a bit more success here. Okay, good. He went for, to go for the back. Switch to guard. Owen switched to a guard. He's getting passed again. I mean, and, and Nikki's all over him here, but Owen's doing a good job trying to keep his feet here, trying to get some hooks in. And Nikki just keeps going to this north south position, stuffing the hips here. And Owen has a heart, hold of the leg. Nikki's sprawling. So this will be a you know, at this stage, it's going to be really difficult for Owen to really get that, either suck this leg in here or really start to get to a, a tripod, get to his feet, and start to drag him in and, and switch to a body lock. Um, this is interesting. I like how Nikki's like reaching, actually reaching for the grip physically and trying to peel it off. 
Um, a lot of times we don't address the grips like this. We call it indirect uh, addressing, of, addressing of the grips, which he would move his hips in a different direction to address his grips. But uh, addressing the grip directly in this position is, is actually pretty interesting. Okay, so he drops that hip again, and now Owen's actually building some height here. We'll say that's some amazing tape or whatever he has on his forehead there. His hit has not come off. It's impressive. Look like uh, so, Nikki looked like was trying to roll to his shoulder there to try to use that Kimura lock. It appears he has a Kimura lock. Yes. So he has a Kimura lock, and he was trying to roll through with it to get to more of a T Kimura position, but then he decided to pull back here, and now he's actually in a T Kimura position. Uh, Owen has to be very careful with his arm there. And see, when he turns, he's going to give his back. And this is what Nikki was looking for. Owen did a good job of spinning to get fat, do a faster spin than Nikki could take his back. Uh, it, but the problem is now he's ending up in mount. I don't know if they're going to reset them or if they ran out of time here. Good on both these guys. Is it a draw? I'm not familiar with the uh, rule set yet. So, all right. So it looks like uh, that'll be a draw and we're going to move on to the next one and it should be the best out of five. That's what it appears. So we'll start the next match here. It's going to be uh, Jacob Rod and Jed Hugh. So this should be an interesting matchup. And uh, yeah, let's start on that one next.